Well, it looks as though with all the leaks to the press and the guarded state statements by various cabinet ministers that we will not be coming out of lockdown on the 21st of June. With the Delta virus numbers rising dramatically all over the country, it looks to me as though we're going to be in for at least another month if you're to listen to what's being speculated and pre-leak. Oh, I love the way they pre-leak these things, so sort of the weekend before the Monday morning, so that it comes as no great shock to us. And by the time the Prime Minister makes his announcement, we're, we're reconciled to the idea. And even Mr Starmer um, is reconciled to the idea as well. But it just struck me that we've come so far and, and we've just got to hang in there and, 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 and let the, the vaccinations speak for themselves and and get more people vaccinated so that the the herd, if you like, um, spirit is, um, protection is, is, is established so that there are so many people vaccinated that it, we don't have, it, we'll have less of a problem. St. Paul writing to the Romans in chapter eight. For I am convinced that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. So basically, this is a time now for faith. This is a time for digging out for each other. And this is a time for really saying our prayers. This is a time for encouragement. For those who are finding it difficult to face the prospect of not being able to break out on the 21st of June, we must be there to encourage them and to support them and to help them. And as a church, that is our responsibility. God of truth, help us to keep your law of love and to walk in your ways of wisdom that we may find true life in Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen.